Hello everyone. Today we are starting a Blender tutorial series for extreme beginners. In this series, we will learn Blender's installation, basic setups, modeling tools, lighting, rendering, and by the end of the series, we will create a complete project using all the tools we will learn. In today's first class, we will demonstrate how to download and install Blender. First, we will open a web browser such as Chrome. and navigate to the blender.org website here we will find the download button as soon as we click on the download button a new page will open at blender.org/download where the latest version of blender will be displayed since i am using windows i will download it for windows however for mac users the option to download for mac is available and if you prefer a portable zip file that option is also available for download since i have already downloaded this version for blender i will minimize chrome and proceed to install blender as soon as i double click the installation process for blender will begin from there i will click on next and then i will need to check the box to accept the terms before checking next again and there will be an option to choose the installation location since i want to install in the default location i will just click next and then install the installation will start and in a little while the installation of blender will be completed the installation is complete now i will click on finish and you can see that the blender 4.1 icon has appeared on the screen when you start blender for the first time you will see a window for quick setup or settings since i have previously installed blender 4 the settings are already on my pc so this option is showing whether i want to apply the same settings or set new one from here you can change the language if desired the shortcut will remain default for object selection i will keep it as left click but you can change it to right click if you prefer here you can also choose what happened when you press the space bar I will keep it as play for timeline play. I will leave all these options as default and click on save new settings. This is the splash screen that will appear every time you start Blender and you can dismiss it by clicking anywhere on the screen. And this is the default interface of Blender that you will see. We will explore it further in the next classes. So see you in next class take care